Hi, welcome back to my channel, Mel Stampin' Gallery. I'm Melanie, your Close to My Heart Maker. And for today's video, I decided to do something a little different. I have kind of been off the grid for a little bit. Um, the summer's been kind of tough. We've, and there's been good and bad um, between uh, health issues with my mother and she was in the hospital in and out a couple of times. Um, good things going on vacation, visiting friends from out of town, out of town friends coming here to visit us in between my mother's hospital visits. And insert in there somewhere, I was also asked to be a presenter for one of the master classes at um, our Close to My Heart convention, which of course was a huge honor, but of course did take some time away from my normal YouTube channel. So um, after all that, um, I was really struggling with um, finding my mojo again. And um, as you can see from this next picture slide, I'll show you a before picture. My room was a total wreck. Um, I know you guys can probably relate to that, but just coming down here and even trying to get anything done was a real struggle. So I decided that it was time to do a complete uh, refresh and redo. So I decided that now that it is super clean, which it hardly ever is, I would take you through a uh, tour of my crafty cave is what I call it, because as you can see, I am in an unfinished basement. So I'll show you up here at the top. See? Unfinished cement walls, um, cement floor, and uh, it's a good large area, but uh, it is unfinished and it did need a major cleanup. So if you want to see where I do all my creation, uh, stick around and I'll take you through a quick walkthrough. Okay, so here we go, as promised, a video tour of my recently cleaned up craft, crafty cave. I call it the crafty cave because as you can see, <laughs> I am in my unfinished basement. But as you come down the stairs, this is what you see. First, I have my paper rack here with some uh, just patterned papers. And then over here we have the paper rack with the solid color. And I got these at a garage sale or a store closing or something like that. I don't really remember. Um, and then we pan around sewing machine. Doesn't really get used that much, but it's there. And I do like to sew on layout sometimes. So that's mostly what that's used for. Um, and then we have the planning station here, just an old desk I found at a garage sale. The, my Roscon, I think that's how you say it, cart that has all my happy planner supplies and different pens and lettering, brush lettering books and techniques. And then like I say, my desk, nothing special, computer, laptop, uh, just some special cards and things. I'm a retired teacher, so I have some things from the former students there. And let's pan around here. And then you see my Cricut uh, on my desk. <laughs> my desk is an old folding table, which I know isn't ideal, but it, it's okay. And then over here we have these shelves that I've had for a long time. I think I got them at Michael's or Joanne's, something like that. Probably Michael's. And then on top, I've got this stadium, I guess, shelving that it's called. I just got that from scrapbook.com. And I like how everything is elevated and I can see it. And I'm more apt to use it if I see it. And then I got these uh, pen holders from uh, Joann's recently. And they have my collection of Spectrum Noir markers. And just a bin right there with um, adhesives and glue. And down here you see, of course, my Close to My Heart ink pads. Um, my collection is growing. I don't have that many. Like I say, I've only been a maker for not even two years yet. And then down here I have my collection of acrylic blocks. And this is um, a bin, a fabric bin that I think uh, Rubbermaid used to sell. And my husband used to work there, so he would get me all kinds of fun stuff. And then my desk, the great thing about cleaning out, 
you find products you forgot you had. I've got the Love Always collection, and then I found some great pictures that I can use for that. All right, and if we keep panning over here, artwork from my granddaughter. She loves to come down here and craft. And here's all the markers and things that she likes to use. And this is an old toolbox that actually was from my father-in-law. Um, he used to have this in his basement. And then, of course, this is my selfie refills. And I do all my printing from home. So here's my Canon selfie. And this is an old model. I think this is a 910. It's like one of the first ones. When it first came out, I remember us all being so excited about it. So there's that. If we pan around, I've got an old tool caddy. Um, uh, ink pad holder. I think that was from a, it's from a company called Stampin' Storage. And again, I got that a long time ago. So I don't even know if that would still be available. And then down here is just an old filing cabinet drawers where I keep my 8.5 by 11 paper. And then over here, one of those plastic rolling carts that you can get at Joanne or Michael's. And what do I keep in here? Old tapes and adhesives. Uh, what do we have here? Sponges. Down here in the bottom drawer, all my different sized envelopes. Okay, and if we go over here, I've got a couple of projects I'm working on. This is my Paris book. And the one over there is my son's wedding album. Then up here, it's where I keep all my stickers and embellishments. It's called um, Clip It Up, I think was the name of the company for that. And then another one of these tool caddy things that my hubby brought me from Rubbermaid. Just got some painting supplies in here, random things, some acrylic shapes, uh, paint brushes, spray bottles, the different enamel dots right here. And then down here in these drawers, again, I think I got these, again, a long time ago from Michaels or something. And let's see what's in the drawers. Now up here we have our some more adhesive. Can never have too much adhesive. Oh, down here is the granddaughter's drawer with all their things. And what's down here? Oh, watercolors and watercolor paint brushes and supplies. All right, <clears throat> excuse me. You go over here, here's my printing station. This is an old cupboard that actually was my daughter's in her um, bedroom when she was a baby. And yeah, I need to repaint that because that's pretty old. Um, not even relevant anymore. <laughs> and then my big shot table. I have my crop it up, um, what do you call those things? Like the suitcase where you take places my big shot bag. Um, this is another thing from Clip It Up for the ribbons. I need to go through and clean that out. I don't use ribbon a lot anymore. Do you guys use ribbon on your projects? I used to use it a lot, but I don't really use it a whole lot anymore. And then just some uh, old samples, things that I've done in the past that I still really like and are kind of special. And then we're coming back around to the beginning. And you can see all my big shot uh, dies over here, alphabets, and the different plates that I have. And in this uh, uh, kitchen thing, this was actually in the warehouse or kitchen and um, home goods department. And I thought it was perfect to hold all my platforms for my big shot. And if we pan over here to the center of the room, we have my big crafting desk, and I absolutely love this. I love how it's got all these shelves here, the um, dowels for the ribbons, and then down here I've got um, the shelves, and I keep my different paper here. This is my close to my heart uh, white daisy cardstock, uh, neutrals, and scraps. I just keep in this poly envelope folder. And then you can see my vinyl for my Cricut glitter paper and it's got these drawers uh, which I just throw junk in <laughs> and this one's actually empty but I got this from Amazon and I will put I'll put a link to that for sure at this video but I just love the big work space I love how a friend can come over and we can craft together here 
um, then down below. And it's got a drawer. Just got some things that I use here often in my drawer. And then I have this old, another thing that I've had for a long time, this rolling cart with drawers in the collection I'm using, I keep on the top. And then adhesives, these are all my um, foam dots and things like that. What do we have in here? Um, placeholders, memory protectors, flip flaps, punch boards, stencils. These are small stencils, this drawer. The only thing I don't like about these are they don't hold 12 by 12. So I got my smaller stencils in there. Things that I keep saying I'm going to work on, <laughs> but I just can't get rid of. I'm sure you guys can all relate to that. And over here it has a, um, like a shelf, and I just took an old dish drainer that I had and I put in all my cutting boards and my Misty stamp cleaner pads, catalogs, and then it has a drawer, or door, and that's just some painting supplies in there. And then let's pan back up. Again, you can see I'm in the unfinished basement. Um, there's all my papers again. Mostly these are pattern papers. And then, like I said, these are the solid color card stocks. But let's look over here in my um, cabinet. And I've been working on this. And I got my close to my heart. I like these gray, uh, what do you call that, herringbone bins. I got these from Lowe's as a recommendation from my friend Aaron. And it keeps all my, it's the perfect size for the Close to My Heart stamp sets. So I got a couple of those. Um, I also have, of course, the stamp, or the Close to My Heart um, caddy. And just some other stamp sets from other companies that I like in there. And then I was going through um, my collections. And I got these plastic folders. They're 13 by 13, and they were perfect to hold the Close to My Heart collections that I um, seem to be collecting. <laughs> You're supposed to use them up, right? Um, but, uh, yeah, so they have all my Close to My Heart collections in there. Um, I need to get some more because I still have some collections in paper bags here. So, and those are in a magazine holder there. And then down here, down below, are layouts, completed layouts, <laughs> that either need to be journaled or definitely put into a book. And then, of course, this is just random stuff. I really should go through all that. And uh, Laura Daniels, here are all my pictures I was telling you about, and that's not even the half of it. Um, yeah, I have all my mother's pictures from when she moved pictures just uh, that you just you just can't throw them away can you all right and then we pan back over here to the beginning and like I said there's my wire cubes I think I got those at Staples maybe and this holds a lot of different pattern papers and some solid close to my heart papers so let's go yeah. back here and let's take just one last quick pan around the room and uh, like I say we've got the uh, unfinished basement um, the lighting down here wasn't always the greatest, but uh, we found this, actually this really great light up here. See that? It looks like a spaceship. <laughs> but that was a great light. It really brings a lot of light here. And we got that from Menards, if you have a Menards by you. So, there you have it. And, oh, one last thing on my desk here. Believe it or not, that's what I use right there to do my videotaping and I've got these rubber bands because this little thing broke because it was just a cheapy little thing here. So yeah, that's how it's done. It's not Instagram worthy. It's not um, Pinterest worthy, but um, it gets the job done. So there you go. One last pan around here. There you go. I'll try to link things down below that I um, that are still available. If I can, I know that this desk is still available on Amazon and I got that actually that was a pandemic purchase so because I was spending a lot of time down here obviously
Well, there you have it. There's where um, all the magic <laughs> happens, so to speak. And uh, thank you so much if you're still with me for taking this walk through my crafty cave. Um, I really appreciate you taking your time out of your busy day to spend time with me. Uh, so if you like what you saw, please consider hitting that like button and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And like I said, check that description box down below because I will have links to some of the products that you see here in the video as well as my Close to My Heart um, online shop where you can find all the close to my, all your favorite Close to My Heart products as well. So once again, thank you so much for joining me. And if you have any questions or comments about anything you saw, please feel free to drop.